Hello, I want to welcome you to my channel, Sun Moon Star Trail. Thank you for tuning in. These next four bell sounds are to align us and to bless this reading. If you're curious, I lit some sage already, but actually I can light some more just so you can like get all woo-woo with me. And today's reading is going to be manifesting your twin flame for water signs. So I'm super interested in this one because I'm actually a water sign too. I'm a double water sign. So just blessing your reading, blessing you, blessing the cards. All right, let's get started. So first we have Tarot. So headspace, we have three of coins, uh, nine of coins reversed, and then page of coins. It's a lot. So you may be manifesting in an earth sign just by all of this earth coming in. And then we have page of cups, which is you coming in, five coins again, some more coins, and then a fountain, which is the, a card for, um, like a card that this specific deck made. So I actually need to go, it's over there. I can go grab the book very quickly. And I am going to pull a card for that one. Do I like pull cards for all my dark on the cards? You have building blocks. So that's more like someone who's very pragmatic, I'm getting. Someone who uses their head, logical. So you, oh. so you may be manifesting in an earth sign with all this earth coming in. And or just like the stability that you want even because earth represents stability and I link earth to the root chakra. So, and that chakra is stability. Um, so headspace, just analyzing three of coins, nine of coins reverse, and then page of coins. Your person is kind of mature and they lack the ability to be alone and independent, but they do crave the independence and they do crave co-creating with the universe. Um, three of coins for me is always, always co-creating with the universe. And we see like how there's one, two, three. I think of it as the father, which is source, the son. Um, which is yourself, the ego, and then the Holy Spirit, which is spirit, spirit, which I think is like a more feminine version of source, but that's just my personal preferences, take it as it resonates. But for me, they're like focusing on co-creating this relationship possibly, but they just lack the, like, lack the, not personality, but lack the maturity right now, I feel, to like really call them what they want because we have two pages here. We have a page of coins and then we have a page of cups. Both cards are beautiful, but they both are very immature. And then we also have the five of coins coming in. And so that's like victimhood mentality, especially coming in under the nine of coins. Um, and that's again, not being able to be alone, not being independent, being really just almost co an energy of codependency coming in really strongly for this reading. Um, just. Take it, like I said, take it as it resonates. So I'm gonna move on to the moon oracle. So we have fear coming in, that dependency. And then we have 5D coming in. So you may not know this person. So you may be manifesting a brand new person into your life. Oh, I, I didn't get the fountain, I'm sorry. The fountain. Oneness, a moment of cosmic clarity, fall awake and of seeking enlightened beings to run into what you are whole and perfect. So maybe you're feeling the codependency and that's why you want to call this relationship. But Spirit is saying you are enough right now. You do not need anyone else to come into your life and to make your life better, okay? Because especially with this nine of like coins reverse, nine of coins upright represents independence for me. So it's like you are afraid of like being alone almost. And it's just you, you you are seeking um but it's like not for the right reasons basically it's not to like okay i have i feel fulfilled now what's next you know it's like you're just afraid of being alone possibly um and there's some self-doubt in there and there's some deception in there and danger there's just more negative energy for the headspace for um whoever you're manifesting in or in signs so just keep that in mind. Just and if these energy energies are coming out and moving, then then they are present in yourself. Excuse me, God, I cannot talk. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the.
our space. We have divine feminine coming in. And we have we focus. With all the pentacles coming in, I'm saying this is, I'm feeling the spirit is saying, focus on your money. Um, focus on becoming divine feminine. Focus on embodying divine feminine. Divine feminine is someone who, she's just like, I, I don't want to say blase, but like she's so fulfilled by herself that she does not need another person. And I know that wanting a relationship is only human. Yes. But you have to realize that truths can exist on, on two levels. There can be two truths, basically. And our job is like kind of like to integrate those truths into one coherent truth, into oneness, really. So I'm feeling that you're needing to just take time out away and really embody this divine feminine. And Tiger's Eye, I picked the stone and I think rightfully so. Like Tiger's Eye just provides strength and support and I'm feeling that that's what you need right now. Okay, so top, we have danger. Fear, worries, and tense situations coming in over fear. Oh, we have dagger, excuse me, not danger. We have dagger. But it says fear, worries, and tense situations coming in over fear. So you may be, fear like, it's just, I want to know what they're feeling afraid about. Um, God, I don't want to use tarot cards. I have tarot cards right here. What is this fear about, spirit? You have the pool on the bottom of the deck. So maybe you are afraid of starting a journey by yourself. Afraid of like, just, and zeros are also feminine numbers as well. Or even numbers are always feminine in my opinion. Um, So it's like you not wanting to almost to like embark on the ship. And then we have Ace of Wands coming in. So that's a passionate new beginning in your spirit. And then we have the Nine of Swords coming in. And then we have the lovers coming in. And then we have a page of wands coming in. There's too much fear around this. There's too much fear for you to call in this connection. And there's too much immaturity too. We have two page. We have three. We have all the pages present, I believe. We have a page of coins here. Page of pentacles, page of cups. And then page of wands here. So this is just a very just an immature energy you need to like kind of like just i'm feeling look at look into the world and see what you want and then like just look at other relationships almost and see what you want and see how you don't embody that for yourself is what i'm getting it's like you're wanting you're wanting you're wanting but like it's like you don't have the tools to get what you want. You don't have the tools to manifest what you want, I'm feeling. And then we have, well, family wishes come true. So there may be some family issues. Oh, and I didn't say the bottom of the deck energies, but we also have Lily here, which is a beautiful card. It's spiritual love. And then the lovers came out too. So I thought that was interesting. And then we have pay parent. Someone will gossip about all of your secrets. And then nest an emotionally secure loving family is important to you so maybe and like i don't know how old you are but maybe try like calling in a husband like i guess when we when i think about relationships for example i don't think about like long term but i feel like spirit is wanting something long term here with family coming out twice something long term is coming in i'm feeling if I know, knew what I knew now, I would have made different choices. That's that fear coming in, regret coming in. Fear, like, regret stems from fear because it's like fear is the base, like, the most based emotion. And then everything else that kind of, like, comes from that in a way. And regret is like you wishing you made a different choice. So it's like being angsty and not necessarily fearful. But it's just a very like similar vibration to me. And it says, I can't handle your words right now. Especially, well, this parent, well, that's interesting. I just noticed that. Parent, someone will gossip about your secrets. I can't handle your words right now. There may be some things unsaid about this person. I don't think you know this, but 
you I feel like you know the spirit you know the energy that I'm talking about you know you know the energy that you want to call in but you're not like focused enough almost to call it in like you're just I don't know like I'm just feeling a block quite frank, frankly for this reading that's too much spirit just one two one Oh, that was two. Messed in the bottle. That's connecting with spirit. Clean it up. Never ending story. Yeah, like, I'm just feeling this is like, this is, has been a reoccurring problem in your life. So, look, and if you know what problem it is, then you know what problem it is. If you don't know, then you don't know. Right? But I'm just going to end this here. Thank you for watching. If you resonated, please like, comment, subscribe. Namaste.